Athletics Now brings you Running the Show Week 6. We go to Luxembourg for the snowy and tough ING Eurocross Country Invitation. Paul's Rule Germany for the Holland Athletic Meeting for Big Foots and World Meeting Time. Dusseldorf, Germany for the PSD Bank Meeting for the fast sprints and exciting middle distance action. New York City for the 105th Milrose Games and an American record attempt by Bernard Lagat. Moscow, Russia for the Russian Winter Games and the world's newest sprint sensation. Perth, Australia and the Perth Track Classic for a big time attempt at the Australian vault record. Les Bons France and the Pas Calais Invitational where the world's leading triple jumpers take center stage. Chiba Japan for the 47th Chiba Cross Country Championship and the best high school athletes in the nation. Fayetteville, Arkansas for the USATF Classic and an Imperial Distance Record Attempt. Dikers Luxembourg is the setting for the annual ING Eurocross meet. This qualifying meet for the IAAF World Cross Country Championships attracts an elite field ready to take on the steep inclines and stepped dirt path elevations that comprise a difficult race course. Snowy conditions are also part of this year's race course, however, Kenyan Chipet career didn't seem to be deterred as he recorded a fantastic time on the challenging course with the odd 10.2 kilometer distance for leading in. Career crosses the line in 30 minutes, 24 seconds, just one second ahead of Kenyan Albert Roth in second. On the women's front, a small core of East Africans, North Africans, Slovaks, Hungarians, and French elite were on hand to challenge the 5.35k distance. But in the home stretch, the leading lady was Ethiopian Elmanesh Balete, who covered the snowy course in 1825, three seconds ahead of her compatriot at Tinez Diwa. Dusseldorf, Germany is the setting of the PSD Bank Meeting. Last year, Isaiah Kowicz produced a world junior indoor 5,000 meter record of 1253.29, but this year he struggled in second place as Kenyan Thomas Langosa held a big lead on the final lap. Kowicz put together an admirable closing sprint to bring Thomas back at the site, but at the tape it was Langosa who was giving the winner's bouquet with a time of 1258.67, marking the first sub-13 of the young season. The women's 1500 meters was taken apart with ease by Kazebe Baba as she crafted a world leading time and a meet record of 401.97. However, that smile soon turned into disbelief as the sister of two athletic superstars was given a red card along with the Victor's flowers as she learned of her disqualification, along with second place Pamela Jolimo and Helen Obiri for moving into the first lane too quickly after the start. The revised results reflect the judge's decision. The men's 60 meters featured two Americans in Josh Norman and Terrell Wilkes. However, it was Frenchman Jimmy Bacall who turned heads with this victory in a world-leading performance of 6.53. The 19-year-old Bacall is yet another find for France on the nation's sprinting front. In the women's 60 meter hurdles, American Lalo Jones struggled with compatriots Daniel Carruthers and Yvette Lewis, but it was Jones who managed to squint out an extra 1 100th bit of quickness to take the victory in 794 versus Carruthers in 795. Karlsruhe, Germany is the setting for the International Holland League Athletic Meeting. The men's 3000 was the centerpiece of drama as three Kenyans were in contention at the start of the last lap. However, Augustine Chogi made the first big move at the bell and was rewarded with leading the trio with 100 meters left in the race. A quick 26 second last lap trimmed the quartet into a duo as Edward Soy made a final effort to upstage Chogi who eased up and almost lost it at the line due to his victory prance. Choi and Chogi were given the same world leading time of 729.94 but a more exciting 3000 meter race will be hard to find. Two days after an ignoble disqualification in the 1500 meters in Dusseldorf, Inzabe Dibaba was again at the head of the pack of 1500 meters in Karlsruhe. As if her dominating performance of 48 hours ago wasn't enough, she cranked up the lap splits a notch more she popped this solo meet record and world leading 4 flat 1500 meters and the number 5 indoor performance of all time. She gets to keep the flowers this time. The men's shot bill was demolished by this 21-27 meter effort by Thomas Mazuszki on his fifth throw to grab the win. The Polish Olympic chap set a new national record with the toss. 
Live en France and the Pas Calais indoor meeting was supposed to be a showdown of the French sprint superstars. However, a start DQ by new sensation Jimmy Foucault left Jamaica's Laurent Clark and French star Christian Le Maitre to battle it out. Clark sprinted to this world-leading 6.50 to take the victory over the tall figure of Le Maitre in second at 6.57. Clark has not lost indoors this season. In the triple jump, Italy's 2009 World Indoor Champion Fabrizio Donato produced this big world-leading 17.24 effort to sell him to first place 10 centimeters over the French challenger and second place Benjamin Campoy. The women's pole vault was comprised of Cuban Yaroslav Silva clearing this 4.71 meter effort, but this was surpassed by world record holder Yelena Isambayeva who produced this superior 4.81 effort to win easily. Back on the track, the men's 800 meter meet record was revised by Polish superstar Adam Zott in the world's fastest time of 144.5 seconds and the third fastest time in history. Zott also destroyed the 10 year old Polish national record. The 22 year old will make waves at the upcoming World Indoor Champs in March. In the women's version of the 800 meters, Olympic champion Pamela DeLimo looked to have the victory in hand, but was challenged and ultimately overhauled in the final stretch by little known Moroccan Malika Akawi in the year's fastest time of 159.01. Akawi's run equals her outdoor best 800 meter clocking and reveals a new Moroccan middle distance star. New York City is the longtime host of the classic Milrose Games, which is being presented this year in a new setting for the 105th version of the event. Kenyan turned American Bernard Lagat was on hand to revise the record books with his 1307 indoor 5,000 meter effort, which was the highlight of the meet and the toast of the sold out venue. Lagat, at 37 years old, is still in record breaking form. The women's 400 meters featured American Sanye Richards posting a 50.89 world leading effort, out sprinting second place Natasha Hastings by almost a full second. Fayetteville, Arkansas was host of the USATF Classic at the same time as the Milrose Games. While Lagat was breaking Galen Rupp's American 5000 meter record, Galen was set out to restructure Bernard Lagat's two mile record as a friendly payback. As he powered down the home stretch in pursuit of the record, Galen's effort paid off handsomely in a new USA record for the distance of 80972, as he was cheered on by track legend and coach Alberto Salazar. In the men's 400 meters, reigning world champion and University of Alabama alum, Grenadian Kirani James stormed to this world leading time of 45.19 to take the win in convincing form. Kirani also holds the world's third fastest time ever indoors. Perth, Australia is the home of the Perth Track Classic and the scene of Alana Boyd's efforts to upstage the Australian pole vault all comers record. A good tailwind was an added boost as Boyd sailed over the 4.6 meter bar to claim the new record which many felt was the performance of the meet. The women's 100 meter hurdles was the event everyone was anticipating as it marked the return of Peria superstar Sally Pearson to her premier event for the 2012 season. Pearson got out well, but a stumble over hurdle six reduced her ultimate performance. However, the 12.86 clocking was still a half second better than second place. Chiba City, Japan is the location for the 49th Chiba Cross Country Meeting, which is a qualifier for the World Cross Country Championships. The field is a mix of international athletes, but primarily consists of Japanese and Japan-based Kenyan athletes. In the senior division of the men's 12-kilometer race, 19-year-old Kenyan Charles Urangu led from the start. But soon, Urangu broke away from the field and his dominance was never again in question. He crosses the 12-kilometer finish line in 34.59 to take the title. Moscow, Russia is our final stop and the Russian Winter Games 60-minute run features the ageless Kim Collins in lane 5 and the return of World Indoor Champion Dwayne Chambers in lane 1. Chambers in 1 gets out well as Omelzi in 2 offers a sprightly challenge but soon fades as American Norman in lane 6 sneaks up and nips Dwayne at the line at 6.63. The 32-year-old Norman is hoping to make the USA Olympic Sprint Squad.